Hi guys! Good morning! So for today's discussion and for our group 2, we are tasked to tackle and discuss about technology in medieval period. Medieval period are also known as Middle Ages and Dark Ages began around 476 AD. When the Empire or Roman Empire fall apart, medieval period came in in the action. Sad and unfortunate that it only lasted for 1,000 years. And why is it called um, Dark Ages? It's because there was war, famine, and diseases such as Black Death that took 35 millions of people. And it's, and it's one of the most historical horrifying events in humankind. So with those horrifying events that occurred in medieval period, there was a massive decline in population. But despite that, the minds, the ideas of the medieval period are still and one of the most innovative ideas that is created up until now. Let's take a look. Number one, printing press. Printing press was created by Johannes Gothenburg, a German who experimented in printing. So, printing press is considered one of the most valuable inventions and creations that was created up until now because it shares massive information quickly and mass produced. Information is very important because you can do a lot of things. Civilizations before deem information very useful and very important because you can gain knowledge, you can gain strategic thinking, you can gain news. So we have to thank Johannes Gothenburg for creating printing press because it disseminates information quickly and is mass produced so that everyone can access it. This general invention soon evolved to be the mechanical printing press, which was eventually used all over the world. This printing press was invented to address the need for publishing books that would spread information to many people at a faster rate. This invention also made works accessible to individuals who could not even write. Who is Zacharias Jensen? Zacharias Jensen was a Dutch spectacle maker from the Middelburg associated with the invention of the first optical telescope. Jensen is also credited for inventing the first truly compound microscope. Zacharias Jensen is generally believed to be the first investigator to invent the compound microscope. What did Jensen do that was so important? During the scientific revolution, Jensen invented a microscope and this instrument helped others study the natural world. This led to new discoveries. Jensen's invention was a huge advancement in technology at that time. Who was the first person to use the microscope as a scientific instrument? Although Jensen was the one who invented the microscope, Lee Wen Hoke was the first person to use the microscope as a scientific instrument. Lee Wen Hoke used the microscope to observe a drop of pant water. Anton Phillips van Lee Wen Hoke was a Dutch tradesman and a scientist. He is commonly known as the father of microbiology and considered to be the first microbiologist microscope and how it works microscopes are effectively just tube packed with lenses and curved pieces of glass that bend light rays passing through them the simplest microscope of l is a magnified glass made from a single convex lens which typically magnifies about five to ten times microscopes used in homes schools and professional laboratories are all actually compound microscope and Use a uh, list two lenses to produce magnified image. There's a lens about the object called the objective lens and other lens near your eye called the eyepiece or ocular lens. Each of these may in fact be made of a series of different lenses. Good morning everyone. I am Jasmine de los Reyes and I was tasked to report the telescope during Middle Ages. So what is telescope? Telescope is an optical instrument that helps the observation of remote objects. 
It provides a means of collecting and analyzing radiation from celestial bodies, even those from the far reaches of the universe. The origin of telescope is very closely tied to the history of optics, a field of science that appeared very early in ancient civilizations of Egypt, Mesopotamia, Greece, and China. Using theories, measurements, and inv inventions of those early times, modern scientists from Islamic world and medieval Europe managed to achieve great success, first by performing simpler experiments that yielded in the creation of eyeglasses in 12th century, and later on by the manufacture of first medieval telescopes in Holland during late 16th and early 17th century. Several centuries later, Greece and Roman Empire started utilizing lenses made from glass spheres that were filled with water. Those two types of lenses continued to be used for more than 1,000 years and were upgraded to lenses made from glass with the arrival of European Middle Ages. During ancient times, many mathematicians and physicists played an important role in describing the properties of light, reflection and refraction. Important names that published their findings which were remembered by future generations was Greek scientist Euclid. Who postulated basic laws of geometrical optics. He described the geometric properties of light, rays, and how light changes its trajectories when they pass through lenses of various types. His findings were expanded by the hero of Alexandria some three centuries later and Ptolemy a century after. His discoveries that happened over almost 2,000 years helped modern scientists to create first telescope, which happened in 1608. When Dutch spectacle maker Hans Lippershe managed to place a patent for his simple device. However, he was not alone. Other Dutch spectacle makers such as Zacharias Janssen and Jacob Metheus created similar device during the same period as Lippershe. From that point onwards, history of modern telescope was born and many more scientists and inventors contribute in its evolution. Together with the telescope, the invention of the compass, oars, and rudders made sea traveling easier and safer during medieval or middle ages. That would be all for my report. Thank you and good day everyone. So good morning everyone. My name is Christine Misula and I am the reporter of the weapons during the medieval or middle ages. So, since wars were widespread during the Middle Ages, great development in the technology of weapons also occurred. So, all sides must develop weapons, not only as offensive, but also as defensive instrument. For open rebuttals, crossbows and longbows were present so that they could attack enemies at long ranges, keeping themselves safe with the protection of walls and fortresses. So that ends my report about the war weapons during the medieval or middle ages. Thank you and good morning. Hi, my name is Grace Anfilomeno and today I will be talking to you guys about an invention that was made during the Middle Ages. Do you know what this is? Do you know what it's used for? These are called body armors. During medieval or Middle Ages, soldiers used this to protect their body in times of war. In close range hand-to-hand -hand combat, soldiers should wear something to protect themselves. Thus, a need addressed by the creation of an iron body armor. However, the body armors were heavy and limited their movement. Eventually, the problem was solved by the invention of a chainmail. Chainmail is a protective material that knights wear as part of a suit of armor. Made from small circles of metal, chainmail defends against slashing swords. Chainmail is a flexible mesh material, basically a metal fabric which means the movement makes more easier and lighter than an iron body armor.
these days, it has been upgraded to a bulletproof vest to protect the police and militaries from getting hit by a bullet during war. That's all about the body armor. This has been Grace and Filomena. Thank you for listening. So with the war, famine, and diseases that occurred in medieval period, we can understand that it must have been difficult for technology to thrive. But despite that, they have created the inventions such as printing press to mechanical press, microscope, telescope, and war weapons. That means that they are very innovative in creating those ideas. So with all of those creations, we have to thank medieval period for pioneering it because without those technologies we could never thrive and innovate more to in up until today.